Please say hello to one of Jason's closest friends, the man with whom he shared the stage, Eddie Van Halen. Hi, I'm Eddie Van Halen. For most of my life, I've been lucky enough to make a living doing something I really love to do, which is make music. It's a rare privilege, and I thank God every day of my life. Seven years ago, it appeared with my fellow guitarist, Jason Decker here, was also going to be one of the lucky ones. He was one of the best up-and-coming rock and roll guitarists on the planet. In 1989, he started getting a strange, lazy feeling in his left leg. Little did he know the extent of the tragedy that was about to come. Uh, he went to the doctors, and it was diagnosed as ALS, which is more commonly known as Lou Gehrig's disease. ALS completely robbed Jason's ability to play guitar. Now he can't even walk, he can barely speak, but his soul is in spirit very much alive. Luckily, Jason's surrounded by friends and family, and with their love and support, he continues to somehow forge ahead and still be able to express his musical genius using computers. Uh, and with the help of some great musicians, he composed a, a, a new, brilliant, and beautiful album called Perspective. But Jason needs a lot more than his music, a lot more than the love of his friends and family. He needs a, a cure for ALS. He needs to start living again. So let's help him. And for years, he's given his heart and soul through his music to people all over the world. It's about time we start giving it back by giving generously to this very important and urgent cause. Come on, man, help out. We want to thank Eddie Van Halen for being there, for Jason. And I would love to have you meet this young man, but he couldn't come to us. So we're going to him live Here's Jason Becker, right here. Jason, how you doing? Jason says hi. Okay. We are battling and fighting the best way we know how to do all we can for you, Jason. I hope you know that. He knows that. Um, it's very difficult for Jason to speak. Uh, Serana, his fiance, uh, and I translate for him. I know that. He has a statement prepared, which I would like to read, if that's okay. Please do. Oh, these are Jason's words. Five years ago, I was very healthy and athletic. Now I have to struggle to swallow, breathe, and hold my head up. I was always happy. Now it is work to be happy. People with diseases like this don't get vacations, days off, a lunch hour, or even a minute break. I am very lucky to have many friends and loved ones with me. Many people don't have that. ALS is very frightening. I have a perfectly healthy and well-combined diet. I pray and meditate. I get fresh air. I think positively as much as I can. And I have tried many alternative therapies. I know these things are why I'm still alive, but I am still getting worse. Please help find a cure for all these people who didn't consciously ask for ALS. May you never get this. It's been 60 years since Lou Gehrig gave his name to this disease, and there's still no treatment or cure. So hurry up, please. Thank you. Also, I would like to say Jason's album Perspective is, is out on the stores. He spent five years of his life, while he had Lou Gehrig's disease, working with computers and live musicians to compose this. And he brought this music up from the depth of his musical soul and heart. And he would like every one of you to hear that. So please look for it. And if you can't find it, please ask for it. It is available. Thank you. Thank you. And I would like you, ladies and gentlemen, to just let me pause for a moment to di direct my next statement to seven morons in Chicago. I would like you to just look at what you've just seen in your mind's eye and tell me, is that pity? or compassion. I have a feeling it's the latter. Here's Jan Carl. Before that, Jerry, if I may, for Jason and the others, this number. I want it. <laughs> 